Good morning. We have Sabir Muhammad, one of the organizers of the Macon Juneteenth Festival. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. For I'm sure. glad to have you here. You have a lot planned for Macon's Juneteenth Festival. It's a two day event. So what is going on? Yeah, absolutely. So this year we're really excited. Um, we're hosting the 32nd annual Juneteenth Festival here in Macon, Georgia. Um, I know with Juneteenth in recent years, it's gotten a lot of national awareness, which is great. Um, it's honestly mind blowing to think about that the Juneteenth Festival here as programmed by Kwanzaa Cultural Access Center has been going on for as long as I've been alive. So that's kind of mind blowing to think about. Uh, but we're really excited. Like you said, it's going to be a two day festival um, and we're just urging the general public to come out and support. That's right. And I think support is key. But another key factor we talked about is the event is absolutely free of cost, open to the community. What can folks look forward to for if, if they come down? So, yeah, like I said, free is it's a huge thing. Um, it's no, you know, barrier to entry. Um, it's going to be a two day festival. So on Saturday, it's going to be uh, from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, it's going to be a lot of live performances, something for all age groups as well to come out and really see that this is something worth celebrating. Um, and that's that's the big thing. Um, and I think a lot of attention has been garnered for that, but it's still more work to do. On Sunday, uh, we're actually going to have the Second day of the event, it starts at 3 p.m. and it goes into 9 p.m. as well. Um, but it also is going to be the second annual Juneteenth parade here in Macon, starting in downtown Macon. Um, so we're urging everyone to check out the parade. You know, the parade, I think, is going to last for a couple hours and then come down to Tattenham Square Park to uh, enjoy the headliner for the Juneteenth Festival because it's always a treat. OK, and so I know we're interviewing about this and we want people to get excited. So I have to ask. Anything we can look forward to that's special this year or something that you're really looking forward to for the oh. upcoming Juneteenth event? I mean, honestly, uh, I, I usually perform every single year. Um, okay. So I do my motivational hip hop music there. Uh, so personally, I always look forward to that for myself. Um, but the headliner, I just have to, I mean, we have David Sanchez and Little John Roberts coming out. Um, it's Latin jazz. It's always a treat whenever they're here. So I urge anybody who hasn't seen in the last 32 years uh, to, to pull up and, and really check out why it's, it's a big deal for me and my community. And even if they've seen it, come back. Absolutely. It's free. Absolutely. It's supporting the community. 100%. Vendors are going to be there. And so what are the details? Let's tell the people that are wanting to find out where is it at, what day, when can we get there? Absolutely. So it's going to be at Tattenham Square Park. Um, from 1 to 9 p.m. on Saturday, June the 15th, and then on Sunday, June the 16th, at 3 p.m., the, the Juneteenth Parade, uh, starting downtown by the terminal station, and I believe it's going to go until about 5 p.m., and then the rest of the uh, second day is going to be back at Tattano Square Park. Um, where you can enjoy the, the headliner, um, like I said, Little John Roberts and David Sanchez. All right, and if Sabir didn't say it enough and I didn't say it enough, the event is free of cost. Details are on your screen right now. This is an event you don't want to miss. Right there, you can find those details. There's a website. Also, head on over to our website, 41NBC, and we will also have those details. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Thank you All for right, having Mark me. your calendars. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us after the break. We'll have more local news and weather.